One of the basic responsibilities of government is provision of adequate security of lives and property, and there cannot be any meaningful development without effective security arrangement. Nigeria is currently confronted with insecurity and government at all levels are working with security agencies, especially the police, to ensure peace and stability in the country. As the gateway state and the industrial hub of the country, Ogun State remains one of the few states visited so far by the new Inspector General of Police, Usman Akali Baba, since his appointment as the number one cop in the country. Speaking about the special status and the peaceful nature of Ogun State, the Inspector General of Police commended Governor Akwabiodun for his support for the police and other security agencies in the state. Ogun State is next to Lagos in terms of significance and importance to this country. You provide a lot of institutions, factories, industries that serve this country in improving the IGR. Your Excellency, we have also seen your friendly and willing posture of assisting the law enforcement officers in your area by providing them with logistics and other necessary things to carry on with their duty. It is my pleasure to recognize these, your efforts, as one of the most laudable that ensures the business of crime prevention and control very possible to the police and other security agents. We appreciate the fact that law enforcement or security generally it's not the business of those of us that are paid as agents to ensure security is provided for our citizens to go about their local businesses. Everybody can see that when you put your own efforts or your own assistance, the business of security will be managed. Open State is not one of that state that is being mentioned as a state that is security challenge. The challenge is not as enormous as what we see in other parts of the country. Not because it is just like that. It's not by accident. It is it's because of the efforts you are put in as the chief security officer, thereby making those who are here, who are paid to protect, to work very easily. So I'm here this morning to say thank you for all that you have been doing to us and uh, on behalf of the Nigeria police and other security agents that are working in this state, we owe you a responsibility and we owe you thank you, thank you, and thank you. The governor, while welcoming the 21st Indigenous Inspector General of Police to the state, noted that his administration sees security as a major role of the government and has been given it adequate attention. As the industrial capital of this nation, we are the educational capital of this nation. Because of that, when we assumed office on the 29th of May 2019, we are quite clear about our vision. We know and appreciate our comparative and competitive advantage, being the gateway state, being the industrial capital, being the education capital. We decided that our focus was going to be to create an enabling environment for public-private sector partnership, because that would be what will allow us to bring more people to come and live, work, and play in the state. And as they do that, it will enhance the economic development of our state, which will now in turn become the individual prosperity of our people. And we appreciated, IG, that to do that, the first and foremost thing that we must ensure is that people can live, they can sleep here, they can play here, in an atmosphere of peace and security. Because indeed, peace and security is the foundation for social economic development. So when we coined up our issue, which you will see on the screen, which is our acronym for our five 
uh, uh, economic developmental pillars, which I stands for infrastructure, S stands for social well-being and welfare, E stands for education, Y stands for youth uh, development, and E stands for agriculture. We intentionally put I first, and the part of the I that comes first for us is provision of security infrastructure. Because without adequate security infrastructure, every other development pillar becomes nothing. So we appreciated that, and when we assumed the office, the very next day that I was sworn in, I called a security uh, uh, council meeting, which I was on me to understand that was the first time, maybe three, four years that I was being called, to take stock of what we needed to do to support our law enforcement architecture. And of course, led by the Commission of Police then. And that was when we found out that our police force and the entire architecture were badly suffering from the lack of you know, infrastructure. There were no vehicles, there were no communication equipment, they didn't have you know, means of uh, access to the internet, motorcycles, and so on and so forth. We, we, we could not believe that the, the, the CP was not able to communicate with other area commander or AGPO except by mobile phone. So immediately, IG, we, we set up the Ogun State uh, Security Trust Fund. It existed before, but it, it had pretty much become moribund. So we uh, uh, reinvigorated it, we reactivated it, we brought in private sector, we brought in the chairman of Lafarge, we became the chairman of the Security Trust Fund, we brought in experienced hands that had you know, done this before in other parts of the country. We had directors that were indies of different banks. And we launched it, and we raised quite a bit of money. And government also showed commitment by you know, providing counterpart funding. And after that, we now began to acquire the necessary logistics that the Security Council had told us that uh, was priority for them. We bought vehicles, we bought motorcycles, we invested in production equipment. And not only that, we provided for the welfare of, 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 of the team and also to ensure that all this equipment that we bought were being managed and maintained properly. And we have continued to ensure that we go, we do, we go to any length to give them that needed support. Recognize uh, the uh, uh, IG that this is not the only way to bring down crime because we know that there's a nexus between crime and illiteracy, crime and drug use. You know, crime and unemployment. So we set up what we call the Ogun State Job Portal. And that job portal was to allow us to identify those that were either unemployed or underemployed. And I'd like to share with you that within the first week of setting up that job portal, we recorded over 150,000 of our youth that were either unemployed or underemployed. So at least we now had a database of these idle hands. After the cuts in the state, a special reception and official handover of security equipment was done at the arcade ground of the governor's office, Okemo Sabekuta. Ogun State Government, for the second time in two years, donated another bunch of operational vehicles to security agencies in the state. While appreciating the governor, the Inspector General of Police noted that a gesture of Ogun State Government will make its officers and men to perform effectively and efficiently. He vowed that the police will continue to discharge its duties diligently and will be firm against criminals. Like it is always said, it is everybody's business. The business of maintaining law and order, the business of ensuring that crime and criminality is checked and reduced to the bare minimum is the job of all of us. Your Excellency, we appreciate that you are making our job easy by giving us the tools to work. These are necessary tools for us to succeed in the business of crime prevention and control. There is nowhere in the world any security organization can succeed without them having mobility. So also, the communication is key. You must have communication equipment for you to interact both internally and externally with your counterparts that are in the same business. So also, you need the body armor, such as the helmet and the bulletproof 
for you to get the courage and support of doing the needful in the business of your work. Sir, so, the donation which covers important security and policing equipment is coming at the right time and will certainly help the police and other security and law enforcement agencies in upscaling their operational efficiency. Ogun State Government has continued to provide unique and innovative models for funding and supporting security operations in the state. It is our hope that other state governments will also emulate your initiative. We all know that Ogun State is one of the most peaceful states in Nigeria, not by accident. It is not by accident, it is because of what the governor, as the chief security officer of the state, has deemed it fit and necessary to inject into security. We therefore assure you that all these equipments and vehicles will be put into the right use by the grace of God. On his part, the governor, Dakwa Biodo, maintained that his administration will continue to put security in the front burner of its programs in order to continue to attract investors and make the state a model for others. Today's event is yet another symbolic, symbolic representation of this administration's commitment towards providing a safe environment for our indigents, for our visitors, for all those who have come to make Oku Place, Oku State their home, either because they work here or they live here. This administration recognizes the fact that we need to have a safe and peaceful environment for social economic development. Today, we will be handing over to the IGP about 60 vehicles, which comprise of, comprise of cars and pickup trucks, 200 bulletproof vests, 200 helmets. We have ordered six arm, arm, armored personnel carriers. We also ordered special power motorcycles to allow for access into areas where vehicles are not able to access. At the IGP, this is following the donation that we did on the 6th of September 2019, where we donated 100 pickup vehicles 200 motorcycles that are well kitted and also we donated uh, communication equipment to our law enforcement architecture under the watch of your predecessor. Our support for the law enforcement agencies and particularly the Nigerian police is a continuous one. Again, I mentioned the fact that when we assumed office and we identified the gaps that would that have been taken advantage of or that had been previously taken advantage of by criminals in this state, we immediately went to work. Besides the security infrastructure required by way of vehicles and motorcycles, we realized the fact that the commissioner of police could not communicate with a divisional police officer or an area commander without the use of his cell phone. We immediately commissioned the procurement of a state-of-the-art communication equipment that not only allows the CP to communicate by voice, but also to see by video. These equipment are fitted onto the motorcycles. They're being carried by the personnel and also fitted into their vehicles. This is despite the fact that we are all aware that the Nigerian police force and other security agencies 
are on the exclusive list by virtue of the constitution. However, we recognize that in line with our commitment to provide infrastructure across our pillars, that the security infrastructure is extremely fundamental because it is that infrastructure that all the other infrastructure, be it roads, be it housing, be it health, be it education, can indeed build on without peace and security. All that is just a waste of time. We also appreciate that the fact that we are the gateway. We are the gateway to the rest of this country. That's what we call the gateway state. We are the gateway to a neighboring country. It is important to ensure that we are able to sustain the industrialization of this country that is taking place from this state. We are the spillover for Lagos. Lagos calls themselves the center of excellence and the city of aquatic splendor. And we say that we are the gateway to the center of excellence and the city of aquatic splendor. Because if there's no peace and security in Ogun State, they will not be able to enjoy their status as the state of aquatic splendor or center of excellence. In the condition of this, we also appreciate the fact that buying equipment is not enough to ensure that we maintain peace and security, but it's important that we engage our youth. This is why our DIGP, as soon as we assumed office in our first 100 days, we launched the Ogun State Job Portal. This has allowed us to employ a lot of our youth. Today, this administration has employed over 30,000 youths. And you understand that there is a direct relationship between unemployment and insecurity. Without much ado, we'll continue to partner with you. I wish to commend the men of the Nigerian Police Force in Ogun State and all other security agencies for their cooperation among themselves. It is the cooperation that has held them together that that it was instilled in them that allowed for the success that recorded in law enforcement in Ogun State. Because if they had been working across purposes, we would not have had the synergy that we enjoyed uh, by, by what we've seen. You mentioned that Ogun State is one of the most, if not the most peaceful state in this country. And you also acknowledge the fact that this does not happen by accident. It, is, it has been by methodical, focused, and deliberate and consistent hard work on the part of my team and I and the cooperation we've enjoyed with our law enforcement architecture. The governor who identified effective security as one of the unique selling points of the state vowed to make the state hard for criminals and their collaborators. Any act to breach our security is considered a sabotage. Because of the state, what we sell is being the number one investment destination in this country. So we'll do everything, IGP, to cooperate with you, to collaborate with you, to ensure that we sustain the peace and security that we enjoy in local state. Having done all this, we want to underscore and reiterate that any criminal in local state, if you don't stop your criminal activities or intentions, we will find you. We will smoke you out. We will arrest you. You will face the fullest extent of the law. Because any such act is an act of sabotage against our collective commonwealth. We are declaring again in Ogun State. Here in Adokuta, where we are going to take over, take custody of all of this equipment to say, never again, never again, never again will anybody run over our formations 
and cut away our firearms and, and mess, up, mess up the security of our state. I congratulate His Excellency. I want to congratulate the people and on behalf of our own dear IDP, Usman Akali Baba. Then the official handover of the vehicles and protective equipment to the police. The event was attended by heads of security agencies, representatives of the Police Community Relations Committee, civil society groups, among others.